Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be doing a mini shopping haul. Just like Drunk Elephant, Tiger Mist, one thing from Lululemon, one thing from Anthropology, and a couple things from Edicted. Also in the middle of the video, it's just gonna cut to me filming from my room. But yeah, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so some things you guys are gonna have to go look at my TikTok or either my YouTube shorts to look at everything that I got from this cute, like, min it's called Mini So store. But this is one of them that's my favorite and I just had it in arm's reach so I want to show this one it's just like a little cinema roll um, neck pillow for when I go on vacation or road trips or whatnot next I got this Evian facial spray I got two of these I found these at Marshall's so originally they're like $15 per like one of these big ones and I wanted to go to Ulta and get them but I never did then I go to Marshall's and I see these for like $7 so I got two it's literally just Evian water in a bottle you can spray it before you do your makeup or to cool yourself off my main thing about this was that i was thinking of taking it when i go hiking so that i can like cool myself off next my dad got these for me it's drunk elephant so this one's the baby facial thingy i don't really know what it does but i think it's like an exfoliant mask thing and this one as you guys all know is the drunk elephant moisturizer i have this one and the other one the peptide polypeptide one that I use at my boyfriend's. This one I'll probably save to use in a little bit because right now I'm using the Kiehl's moisturizer and I haven't even made a dent in that so I'm excited to use these though. Plus the color is also super aesthetic and cute. And then another thing that I've been excited about lately is the Summer Fridays um, lip butter balm. It just smells so good. This is the pink sugar and it smells like a literal sugar cookie. But yeah, I've been replacing my Aquaphor with this more often because it also gives you like a light tint and also a gloss that I like. But yeah, I literally cannot stop applying this. Okay, now onto the clothes. Okay, so for this haul, I focused a lot on sets. So this one's not a set, but this is the kitty pant the low waist pant from Tiger Mist. And honestly, I didn't expect to like this that much, but it's like, I don't have this type of pants in my closet. And even though it says it's low waisted, I think it's more like mid waisted. And also I got it in an extra small, but it's still kind of baggy in places. And it's also extremely long. I'm 5'4". There's not a lot of cute pants that fit me 100% perfectly, but I think if I just got this altered, it'd be perfectly fine. But yeah, I really like this pants. Next is the Stormy Top and Bottom from Tiger Mist. The kitty pant was also from Tiger Mist. This is something you could wear out for like a cute girl's day or a nice cute dinner. I have a friend's birthday dinner coming up, so I figured that I would wear this. It's just very flattering and like this aspect of the outfit is very trendy right now. The only problem with this is that it does have like the sticky thing here that keeps it from sliding down when it's on your shoulders but when i went to like adjust my skirt when i tried it on the sleeves just both fell off so that's something to like look out for <laughs> this Lululemon Define jacket. So I have this one in black already, but I went shopping with my mom and I picked this one out and I was just holding it. She was like, you want it? And I was like, I do. And she was like, let's get it for you. Look how cute the color is though. I think this color was pink milkshake. It's just very flattering and cute. If you've guys seen my latest TikTok and my YouTube shorts, there's like a contrast outfit of me wearing like the black Lululemon Define jacket versus this one. Outfits I'd wear with this one are less for like the gym and more for like outdoorsy stuff or like a casual stroll or running errands. These aren't new, but I'd pair it with something all white like this. Like these are both from Lululemon and I'd wear them in like a full white and pink set like this. is one thing from anthropology it's probably a mess because it was shoved into my duffel bag it's like this super princessy puffy sleeve that we got going on and this baby blue is such a cute color and i put it on it is a bit itchy around like here not so much itchy more like scratchy but it's not so much that i didn't want to get this it's still very cute and it's like i don't have anything like this in my closet so you know okay so i know with this top this skirt doesn't match it i don't really know what bottoms to wear with this top but like i imagine myself wearing this with a pearl necklace and it just looking real cute and nice like overall just giving the dainty princess vibe like if this were in a dress form i would get the dress too 
Here's the back of it. The back is just the same as the front. Nothing too different. But yeah, this is my first um, item that I got from Anthropology, and I have to say I have no regrets. Also, the reason I say this is a mini haul is because I feel like I don't have a lot of things to show like I normally do. It's whatever. Okay, anyways, next thing I have is... I forgot what this was called. I think this was the Esme set from Tiger Mist. But this is probably one of my favorite sets. Like the fit, the color, the pattern, everything about it is just like, I don't have anything like this. You know what I mean? So for this set, I got a small in both the top and bottom because I read in reviews that the top was really tight. I'm definitely glad I got a small in the top because when you're putting it on here, it's tight. But for as for the bottoms, I think I could have gone with an extra small. Also, the best part about this skirt is that it has a built-in squirt. I don't know. That's amazing. Next set is, this is the Theo set. If you guys follow like um, a lot of TikTok influencers or like fashion influencers or fashion content creators, I'm sure you guys have seen this. But this is the Theo top and skirt. This is the skirt. It's like a maxi skirt with a slit on the side. And look at the detailing on the slit. It's gorgeous. With this one, I saw in the comments that the holes of the arm sleeves were too small. And I was scared to get an extra small because I thought my arms wouldn't fit. But the small, it's like too big now. Like, you'll see when I don't have a puffy top on. But yeah, this was my boyfriend's favorite set. Um, I can see why. It's definitely not my number one favorite. But I still think it's very cute. And I can see myself wearing this to like a nice dinner by the beach or some delusional thing I have planned that probably won't happen for a while. Next is this dress I've been seeing all over my For You page and my Explore page. I forgot what dress this is called, but it is so cute. It reminds me of the Skims dress in the way that it's very comfortable when it's on. And the covering, like the layering on the inside is the same material as a squirt and it's very comfortable. This is an extra small. I definitely think it could fit tighter around the waist though. But other than that, it's very flattering, very cute. This dress, like the cover part is like the same color as my skin skin when I put it on. So it looks like this dress is see-through, but it's not, I swear. Okay, now the final two are from Edicted. Like half my closet's from Edicted, like I swear. When I was taking this off, it was a bit tight to get off without like undoing the entire thing. So it's gonna look kind of crazy right now, but when I do the try on, I'll fix it up. So this is a denim set I got. This is a denim corset top. And then this is the matching bottoms. If you guys have kept up with my previous shopping hauls, I got another denim skirt from Addicted that had a belt, but that belt I felt like was very unflattering and I think the skirt looked better without it. This is not the case. I think this belt makes this whole skirt. Oh, you know what? Just kidding. I didn't even realize it's attached. I couldn't even take it off if I wanted to, but this little detailing makes the whole skirt. Okay, so for this one, I got this top in a small when I meant to get it in an extra small. It's a little more loose than I'd like it to be. And this is after I tighten this all the way, so I think I'm going to go ahead and exchange this for an extra small. Okay, so this is the extra small. Compared to the small, I think it's a lot more flattering on me, especially because after I tighten all the laces, it doesn't really like, the vest doesn't really touch in the middle or overlap. And there's no loose space after I tighten the strings. But yeah, overall, I'm really happy that I exchanged it for an extra small instead of being lazy. Last but not least is probably the set that I've been the most excited about. Do you guys know that skirt from Brandy Melville? It's called like the Izzy skirt. This is the addicted version of that skirt. Now, I'm glad that when I found this skirt, it was already on a big sale. The Brandy Melville Izzy skirt is like $36 and this was like $76, which no offense, 
it's not like the quality to be 76 dollars but i did not buy it at that price i think i bought it for like 31 dollars on a sale and plus like a discount codes but yeah it's just a cute maxi skirt i feel like this you can wear it in like the summer spring and fall like depending on how you layer it but yeah and then the top that i got for it this is the wyatt top it took me a while to figure out how to put this on but once i figured it out i realized i don't 100 percent love this top it's cute it's okay but it's like it just doesn't look very flattering on me in my opinion i realized after editing my whole video that i didn't even make an outro to be honest filming and changing out of all the outfits and stuff like that like it's been very hot in texas lately so when i'm right in front of a giant window trying to get good lighting it does get kind of hot even with like the ac on i guess in the midst of all that i just kind of forgot to make an outro but yeah thank you guys so much for watching my video once again i'm honestly in love with everything i bought there are some sizing issues that i had i also feel like i focused a lot on getting sets that i don't really have like the color or pattern in which i'm really excited that I did that. A lot of my clothes are like solid one colors, but this time I'm excited that I got a lot more variety in my clothes. But yeah, once again, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to leave a like and comment down below if you enjoyed the video and please let me know what you guys would like to see next. Bye!